I'm out here doing a workout, so I figured I'd make a quick video showing what the eccentric part of the motion is. Here's my little cheap weights here. I'm on my bench doing an incline bench. I don't have a good spot for my camera, so that's what I have to do. But I think you can see me. Uh, kind of one of the things you want to do, these weights suck for it, but once you get heavier weights, you want to use your knees to kick your weights up to you. Anyways, so this is an incline bench. This is the concentric part of the motion. You can go fast with that, but when you come down, it's called the eccentric part. You want to go slow. Go fast, down slow. Go fast, down slow. Go fast, down slow. Go fast, down slow. You start to get all out of form, real shaky. Just slow it down a little bit. Maybe you need to drop weight. Don't forget to breathe. slow and that goes with everything including your curl down slow up fast down slow up fast down slow at any point your muscle curl works the bicep right here let it come down slow and that's where all your tears are going to occur this doesn't do much maybe a little squeeze at the top I'm gonna ting those muscles uh, the little ones that didn't quite tear, but most of the tearing goes on down here. Eccentric, or uh, a lot of guys in the gym call them negatives. Let me show you guys. Let me show you some what I call military presses. Obviously, your incline presses are going to do the upper part of your chest. Incline presses will do maybe a little bit of your chest, but more of your front shoulders here, anterior shoulders, and a little bit of your triceps. I'm going to keep the weight in front of your nose here, not back here, because you'll feel that tinge on your shoulder in front of your nose and go up and down slow up down slow up down slow up down slow that's probably like my fifth set already so and there's a little tip for you.